the fiery pyro deck collector Telfaz is finally here with her cute little companion Numbi, and I'm looking forward to summoning for them today. After skipping Jing Liu and summoning last on Fushuan, I've been itching to summon and hopefully I will end up pulling her today, especially because I'm not guaranteed. Silo's banner is actually back as well, and this is the first rerun in Honkai Star Rail's history. Now, Silo was my first ever 5 star from the limited banner, and hopefully Topaz will join me today as my second ever 5 star hunt character. I should note that I also do want the new 4 star fire character, so maybe I will pull her as well. My pity's nowhere near high enough to guarantee me Topaz, and it's also going to come down to a 50 50 that I hope I win yet again. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the summons. First multi up here, and now traditionally I've had some pretty bad luck with 4 star characters, and I'm hoping that I pull the new girl, but I also would like to get some duplicates because it's very important. And I do have a 4 star on the first multi, so that is very good. Hopefully, oh, it's Sampo, not what I'm looking for. That is one of the few 4 stars alongside Pela that I actually have E6. I mean, I'll, I'll take the starlight. But that's taking up a four star space and that's gonna hurt me especially because another trend that seems to happen at least for me in this game is only getting one four star character per multi which is just not okay as you can see so that first multi was absolute trash but i have faith in the second one let's see it can i get some featured four stars as well it's actually unlike me to get a non-featured four star character and i have been itching to summon because it's been over a month since i summoned for fushan and it's a four star of we did get a Luka dupe. Okay, so I do have every single featured 4-star, Su Shang and Luka. I mean, they gave away Su Shang for free, but I had pulled her before that even. And Luka, I do have like at, I think, E0, so I'll take that dupe. Is that really going to be my only 4-star again? I feel like they need to increase the rates for 4-stars. I don't know if it's identical to Genshin, but in Genshin, I've had so much better luck pulling 4-star characters. All right, next multi. <sighs> I'm so far getting shafted, and I'm not feeling too great about this. But where my 4-star luck has been poor so far, I usually do win my 50-50s. Now, I don't want to jinx it by saying that. But maybe we will end up winning it here. All right, come on, Pom Pom. Be generous to me, please. There we go. We did get the new girl, the four star, and she has a Nihility Fire character, which is really nice. I love her aesthetic, by the way. It looks a lot like Ting Yun and Yu Kong. I can even see Xu Shang back there. I think that's her. So I'm looking forward to using this character, and I'm glad that I pulled her. Because, like, in the case of Yu Kong, I didn't pull her until way later. Is that going to be my only four star again? Bro, there's no way they're going to shaft me like that. Why are they so stingy? Let me know if you guys also have the same problems with pulling four stars, because I feel like it's not just me. Next multi. All right. I need to get a five star now. It was kind of cool with the four stars just a little bit, but we need to start getting into pity range with the five star soon. Come on, pom pom. That's another four star. All right. Okay, I will take a 4-star light coin. That's actually a pretty decent one. So, okay. I mean, so far, I haven't gotten any weapons. I need a character to accompany that, please. There's no way. Really? My luck is terrible right now. Maybe that's because I got so lucky on Don Hong and Byward Lune's weapon banner that they're shafting me like this. Oh, man, it's really getting late. Topaz is definitely making me work for this. All right, well, another multi. I am getting close to pity range now, so the five star should definitely be coming in. I really hope that it's Topaz, and I know she's a debt collector, but that's no excuse for her to steal all of my jades and put me into debt. Another four star, though. Unfortunately, no five star in sight. Luca again. Okay. I like Luca. He's a cool nihility character that I haven't even really used yet because I haven't built him, but... Wow, I'm still getting shafted though. I'm starting to think that my Honkai Star Rail account is cursed when it comes to four stars. That's how they're gonna do me, then I'm gonna do some single summons. That's how I usually pull the five stars on, honestly. Which is probably the smart thing to do for a free-to-play player anyway. Oh, now they want to give me a four-star. I was one off from having two four-stars in one, and it's a four-star light cone for survival. Okay. Pom pom, give me the five-star. It's getting pretty late. Of course. Finally entering pity range. This actually might be the five star right here and I'm starting to get nervous because Pom Pom has not been showing me some love today. Honestly, this is the most shafted I feel like I've gotten. Is it going to be a five star? It's a three star. With that said, I still hope maybe my luck can turn around. I've been surprised before on this game, most notably when I got in Biber de Lune's weapon. So maybe the luck will turn around. Let's see.
Finally the five star. Okay, come on, Topaz. Please come home. Please come home. It's Jopar. No, I finally lost my 50-50. That is so sad. That's a real bummer. But honestly, it was bound to happen eventually because I've won like four 50-50s back to back and also walking away with two five-star weapons. Walking away with two five-star weapons. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. So this was bound to happen, but I am really bummed because her character in the story was really cool. And honestly, I would love to have her on my team. I might do a few multis off screen on this banner since we do still have over two weeks and maybe I could get fortunate enough to pull her. But for now, that's probably going to conclude it. I am happy that we got Gwina Finn though. I am looking forward to building her and adding her to my DOT team because she's really cool as well i loved how she was in ethereum wars and speaking of dot team i walked away with a few dupes here for my luca i got him at e4 now which is actually really cool so i almost have him at e6 it's about time that i probably build this guy as well and we got my first ever duplicate five star character from the limited banner and it is for japard who was my second ever five star normal banner character i'm actually really bummed though that i got japard because yeah he's an amazing character but his E1 isn't something I wanted. And there's still so many standard banner characters I don't have. Himiko, Welt, Clara, Yanchin, and even Bailu. I would have loved to have gotten Clara because her and Topaz actually have decent synergy together. I guess getting Topaz and Nummy just wasn't meant to be, but that's okay because now I'm guaranteed the next amazing 5-star characters that will be coming out, and I'm really excited about that. But let me know if you guys pulled Topaz and Nummy if you are summoning for them, or if you're waiting until version 1.5 but i hope y'all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video